What's up everybody? So we're back out at the farm. Day two out here. Day two of my wife running a loader. And today we don't have children sitting in our laps. So both of our days will be a little bit easier. So it's a, it's a little bit of a tragedy. I found out today that Taco Bell discontinued the caramel apple empanada. That's more than a little upsetting. Now, if you watch my channel regularly, you know that I've had some issues with McDonald's and Tim Hortons and so yet, an, yet another aspect of my old man fast food restaurant rant, whatever you want to call this, Taco Bell, really? Caramel apple empanada was like the best fast food dessert ever. Every time I got one. Makes me not want to eat there anymore, guys. Come on. What are you thinking? So anyway, enough with fast food. We're going to get the dozer fired up. Then we're going to go back over and get the camera set up with the wife so you guys can follow her around for a little bit today. Ooh, that's cold. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh, she is cold. Let's try that again. We're going to let the glow plug sit for a second. Woo! So, yeah, we got a cold front moving in today. It's already, I don't know, 40-something? Maybe high 30s? We're supposed to get 60 mile an hour winds tonight? Come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it, I, I believe. I believe. Oh, she ain't wanting to turn. She ain't wanting to turn, guys. Whoo. Hang on now. Hang on now, old girl. We can do this. Ooh, baby. Oh, oh, is she not going to do it? Oh, that's nice. The key just broke. All right, guys, I'm going to work on getting this dozer started. And then I'll get back with you in a minute. We'll catch you here in a bit. Well, I'm glad that wasn't a pain in the ass. So I got it. It took about six shots of ether before she really wanted to run on her own. It's acting like it wasn't getting fuel. So I called my buddy and let him know that's happening so that's great Ooh, it's getting colder Ooh, that front is definitely here cold not so cold actually it's the opposite I think I don't know I can't really tell I can't really tell which way is cold and not cold I think it's coming from the west which is that way where there's blue sky but that front definitely uh, is all the clouds or anything but why am I rambling about the weather Jesus guys you have to stop me Stop me from going down that road. Anyway, we got her fired up. I'm gonna go set up cameras like I originally anticipated. Now that I've lost 15 minutes to dicking around with a cold starting dozer. So I'm gonna catch you guys here in a minute. Actually, Melissa is, cause you're gonna go ride around with her for a while. So see you in Melissa's cab in a minute.
What? Well, the one side that needs to be taken from is too hard. But this side closest to us is fine. I can get from that. But how do you want me to take from the pile? You want it to evenly be going away, right? I also think I might be digging holes where I'm getting the piles from. Is that wrong? Well, I've noticed that if I tip it down a little bit, I can get a fuller bucket than if I just have it level. So what's more important, a more full bucket using the boom. Alright, um, also, am I destroying this area while I'm backing around and all that? Alright. So keep doing it along this side. All right.
all right guys unfortunately i don't really have like this tidy wrap-up video in fact i'm not even sure how i'm gonna edit all this together because the first day was children in the lap like focused on trying not to have a child bounce into the bar in front of me oh it's beautiful like that's the that's the way this is gone is every time i try to make the video i get interrupted with other things so that was the first day second day was uh, as you guys probably saw from the in-cab footage, uh, that milling pile was hard as crap. And so instead of being able to focus more on the video stuff, we were doing our best to eat away at the millings pile. It ended up being a disaster. So we're going to call it for today. I actually talked to my buddy and uh, when they are done with one of their excavators, they're doing a uh, drain tile right now out in the field. When they're done with one of their excavators, we're going to bring it over. I'm going to churn that pile up pretty good so we can get some decent buckets and we'll come finish it out. But in the meantime, here's what we've got. We've done. Here's what we got. Turned out pretty nice. I think they'll be happy with it. We're getting the millions a little thicker than dad wanted. Dad only wanted like three or four inches, but they're dealing with really heavy tractors, really heavy. And I'm not even worried about the tractors. The tractors spread the ground pressure. Uh, but more the implements when they bring them across with those narrow tires They just sink out of sight. So I'm actually going close to eight maybe ten inches in spots um, Because that's pretty sandy material underneath. So once that binds together after a couple hot summer days uh, That should do pretty well with eight to ten inches down. So I hope you guys enjoyed riding around with my wife You guys spent more time with her the last couple days than I did. So good job um, Hope she did good. I didn't really actually get time to instruct her because I was busy trying to do all the other stuff. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you on another video here in the somewhat near future. And I have no idea what I'll be doing because I don't have any other jobs lined up. So we'll see you guys soon.